I'm Forrest Saunders at the Capitol. With the new lawmaking session fast approaching, some have renewed their push for further abortion restrictions in the Sunshine State. Activists flooded the Capitol Rotunda weeks ago. Others called on Governor Ron DeSantis to lead on the issue during news conferences like last Thursday. Are you willing to take the lead regarding the heartbeat I'm willing to sign uh, great, uh, great life legislation. That's what I've always uh, said I would do. But actually getting a bill on the governor's desk seems uncertain at the moment, despite interest. There you go. Like every bill, how can we, um, how can we negotiate something that makes sense and that can pass? Senate President Kathleen Pasadomo recently told reporters she'd support a 12-week ban with exceptions for rape and incest, noting around 80 percent of Florida's abortions are performed in that time frame. However, she's waiting on the courts first. We can't really do anything until the Supreme Court weighs in on the 15 week. As you all know, it's in litigation. There are multiple legal challenges to the new 15 week ban, including from women's health clinics. Over the summer, they were granted an injunction in circuit court. It violates the privacy provision of the Florida Constitution. But it was reversed almost immediately when the state appealed. It now awaits the high court's opinion. Justice is mulling whether to uphold the injunction with no clear schedule for a decision. I'll tell you that most Americans support abortion access, as do most Floridians. Meanwhile, Democrats like House Minority Leader Fentress Driscoll taking a different approach. She's working with the White House to shine a light on the issue, hoping the president's bully pulpit can bring leverage and dissuade Florida Republicans from going further. Everywhere that abortion was on the ballot, including states that are far redder than Florida, I'm talking Montana, Kansas, Kentucky, Uh, Voters rejected further abortion restrictions. At the moment, lawmakers have yet to file any abortion legislation for next year, though that's only a matter of time. The big question, will leaders want to take up a bill when there's still so much uncertainty on the issue?